Welcome to another video um, from Apartment 402. And I cannot stop listening to that Lady Gaga album, you guys. It's art pop. It is so fantastic. That song is with R. Kelly, and it's called Do What You Want. Parentheses, with my body. Totally inappropriate. Um, so I'm just going to start every video from now until I'm over this album with Lady Gaga songs. So I hope you guys are, like, really excited for it. Maybe sometimes I'll do Miley. But only if she stops doing, like, weird stuff at award shows because I'm over that. It's so stupid and lame. And it's like, okay, then they're done that. Like, we get it. But that's just my personal opinion. Okay, so I'm going to talk about today's video, which is a review. I've been doing a lot of review videos lately. But here's the thing about today's video. This is supposed to be a holiday gift guide video. Hence my festive look and feel the necklace. I have like these cute earrings on. Like, you know, I tried to like get into the spirit. However, the first thing on my gift guide list was this palette from Too Faced. A few of my favorite things. So you can't see it obviously because like the lighting really sucks. Um as per usual. But here's the thing. I got this palette because A I wanted it. B, Sephora was having a VIB 20% off sale, which I mentioned in, like, a previous video. C, I thought that this would make an amazing item to put into my beauty gift guide. But then I started using the palette, and I have mixed emotions about it. I don't dislike it, but I don't... I don't know if I'm in love with it yet. I don't know. I don't know if I need more time to fall in love with it. So let's just talk about it a little bit. Let me show you what I love. Let me show you what I'm not so sure about. And you guys make the decision. Because at the end of the day, I think that the value you get in this kit is sensational. So let's start with that. Um, essentially, you get a box, and it comes with this pouch in it. And it's like this really cute little makeup pouch, and it's gold and pink chevron, A-plus for color choice. Too Faced. I love that. I would totally wear this, flip it over, wear it as a purse. Like, why not? I don't care. Like, I have plenty of nice handbags, but when I find something cute like this, I don't care if it costs me 50 cents. If it's cute, I'm wearing it. So, that's a plus for effort there, Too Faced. So, what comes inside of it are three things. A, the big makeup palette. Um, so, this is just like a cardboard palette. And it comes with 20 eyeshadows in beautiful, metallic-y, holiday look and feel colors, which kind of goes with the theme, a few of my favorite things, which, if you didn't know, is a holiday song, in case you've been living under a rock forever. Um, and then also comes with, not one, but two bronzers, Chocolate Soleil and Sun Bunny, which are two of Too Faced's really popular bronzers, two blushes, the pinkish one is called Raindrops on Roses, like the lyrics from the song. Very cute and festive. I love that. And the next one is like an orangey peach color, and it is called Melt into Spring. And I have that on today. I actually have the Chocolate Soleil Bronzer, Sun Bunny, and Melt into Spring on my face today. And I have to tell you, I'm obsessed with these face products. I think that they're absolutely stunningly beautiful. Okay. Then there's the eyeshadows, which I will get into momentarily. So that's the palette that you get. In addition, you get the Too Faced Lip Injection Color Bomb in the color <coughs> Bee Sting. And it is a moisture plumping lip tint. I also have that on my lips today. My lips are plumped, they are moist, and they are pretty. So that's just the first part about this particular lip product. The last thing you get is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, a small, like, sample tube of it. Why it's called Better Than Sex Mascara, I don't know. I think that they're kind of over-marketing here. I feel embarrassed telling people I use a mascara called Better Than Sex. It makes me feel uncomfortable at the end of the day. But it's a great mascara, and I will get into that shortly. All the items you get for the value of $56 in this kit is phenomenal. Plus, I got 20% off at the VIB sale. I couldn't not get it. It was just too good because there's too many products in here that I already knew that I liked that I would use all the time. So I had to get it. Now let's talk about the eyeshadows that come in this kit. Beautiful, stunning colors. 
lots of jewel tones, lots of great metallic -y neutrals, lots of beautiful, like, soft matte colors, like this one, milk chocolate. And then down here you have woolen mittens. Um, love those two mattes. There's lots of matte colors in here, actually. There's dark chocolate, which is another really great matte. This is a great shading color. Um, there is taffy, which is a great um, matte pink color, which is kind of rare to find a matte pink, I feel like. So this is kind of a treat to get that. There is Ooh La Orchid, which is this stunning purple color. And then there's lots and lots and lots of metallics. Everything else is metallic and or glitter, like literal glitter. The glitteriest one, most glittery one, would have to be Moon on Their Wings, which is this kind of rose gold color. It literally looks like rose gold, but it's glitter. Like, it doesn't even swatch. It swatches glitter on my finger. That's fine. Here's my issue with the eyeshadows. They are not pigmented enough. Not one of them is pigmented enough. Also, they do not last on your eyes. It is so sad. It makes me so sad when things like this happen because I was so excited about this palette. They're just not pigmented enough. I don't have them on my eyes today. I have Urban Decay on my eyes today because I literally will wear these eyeshadows and it looks like I don't have anything on. I don't get it. I'm so confused because they're so beautiful in the pan. Now, that being said, if you're willing to take the time to build them up, once you build them up and work a little bit harder with them, they do look lovely. And there are so many beautiful shades here, like this great maroon with a little bit of sparkle in it, this fantastic party time color, which is just like New Year's Eve fabulous. Like, I want to do tutorials with these for you guys. But I want you to know now that these take time to build up. They are not going to be the best eyeshadow you eyeshadows you've ever used in your life. They just aren't. And it's just really sad and it makes me upset because like I wanted to swatch all of them for you, but they don't swatch well. And I'm already a bad enough swatcher as it is. I'm not even going to attempt it. I am, however, going to talk to Lizzie about this from Pretty Vices. We're going to have a deep conversation about this because I want her to help me understand why I don't love this. Because she has the same kit and she loves it. So I really want to collab with her. I really want to do some holiday makeup looks, like New Year's Eve, like Glitzy Glam Tranny looks with this color, and this color, and that color, and that. I mean, I really want to do it. And like maybe it's beautiful like holiday daytime look with these beautiful golds, because the golds are so pretty. I don't know. I don't know. I just love it so much. I have such mixed feelings on it, because it's stunning. And regardless of how I feel about the shadows, I think it's worth it for the face products alone. Because the full you get full size blush and bronzers, and that in itself makes up the value of the kit. Now, let's talk about the lip stuff because I'm done talking about that because it makes me upset because I haven't I don't know how I feel about it and it's confusing. Now, the Too Faced Lip Injection Color Bomb. This stuff will make your lips big. Look at this. They're volumped. They're very voluptuous. However. When you put this on, I need you to brace yourself because it hurts like a mother, you know what? Like, I can't, there's no other way to describe it. Literally, it feels like your lips are on fire. Like, why? 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 Why does this hurt so bad? There's no reason for it. I've tried plenty of lip, lip plumpers in my life. It's a lovely color. It, it's wonderful. It's a great product. I know that it's a great product. The formula feels good. But it hurts so badly. And there's, like, I get the beauty is pain thing, but it's upsetting to me. Like, why does it hurt so bad? I can't purchase this ever. I would never go back and repurchase this. I will use this because it was in my kit, and it does make my lips big once I get over how much it hurts. And I feel like the second and third time I used it, it didn't hurt quite as bad as the first time. I think I was more shocked by how much it hurt the first time. But at the end of the day, this hurts like, this hurts. It just does. So be prepared for it to hurt. It will make your lips plump. It probably plumps better than most other plumpers I've ever used, but it hurts so bad. If you have low tolerance for pain, do not purchase this. Just don't do it. Like I said, like I'm, it came in the kit. I'll use it. I would not repurchase this. It just hurts too bad. Like no plumping is worth it. Like <clears throat> it stings. Like if I was to like go kiss somebody else's hand, I'm sure their hand would start swelling up. Like I would. Like I'm right where I kissed it. Like it would hurt. So. I will talk about the last thing which makes me the happiest, and it's this Better Than Sex 
mascara. Now, regardless of the name, which is atrocious on every level, this mascara is God. This mascara is awesome. Like, this is the kind of mascara you put two coats of it on and your your lashes are just better. They're just, they're just better. Like, right now I have a lot of eyeliner on, so you can't really see. So I guess this is, like, kind of a terrible example. But my eyelashes are really short and stumpy, and this makes them look like, kind of like, baby doll lashes. And I would be happy to kind of show you guys a close-up impression of this mascara if you want to see it. But I've been using a lot of drugstore mascaras lately because I was kind of over the more high-end mascaras, but this has kind of changed my mind. Like, I will 100% buy the full size of this. This is so great. It's my new favorite mascara, and I will use it all the time. Um, so, yeah, it's awesome. Like, this mascara makes is another thing that makes it worth it. So do you see why I'm torn? Like, I want you guys to feel my feelings and to understand why I love this kit so much, but I also kind of am angry at it because why don't the eyeshadows, why aren't they pigmented enough? Why don't they work? And I guess it's my bad because I've never tried Too Faced eyeshadows before. <laughs> I really only tried the lip products. And actually, I really only tried the face products before this. I hadn't really tried too much other Too Faced stuff. And I've tried their shadow insurance, like a sample of it before, which I love. Their, it's like their eyeshadow primer. It's really awesome. So maybe if I got their eyeshadow primer, maybe these would work better because their eyeshadow primer is the best eyeshadow primer like ever. So maybe it would help the color stick more and just be more pigmented without having to build it up so much, but I'm going to talk to Lizzie about all of this. I want to hear all of your guys' opinions and feelings. If you guys have purchased this, I want to hear your thoughts. I want to know what you think. I want to think, I want to know if you think I'm being dramatic about the eyeshadows, because I just, maybe I'm spoiled by Urban Decay, because their eyeshadows are the best, but and I've been using Naked constantly, like I've just been using Naked too, like every single day, but like, I thought this would prevent me from wanting Naked 3 so much, but no, I ha now I have to have Naked 3 because it just was unsatisfying, and I'm upset about it. But like I said, um, the bronzers and the face products, the Chocolate Soleil Bronzer, it smells like chocolate, and it's amazing, and it's a great contouring bronzer. I contoured my face with it today. The Sun Bunny is a beautiful, like, warm your face that bronzer with some sparkle and shimmer in it, and the blushes are beautiful colors. So... This, to me, like, this makes it worth it. The mascara makes it worth it. The lip stuff and the eyeshadows, I'm on the fence. Well, not about the lip stuff. The lip stuff burns and it hurts and I don't buy it. Unless you're getting this kit, then that's fine. So those are my feelings, and I wish this wasn't, like, a negative video. But it just, it's a little negative and it's a little positive and it's a little confusing. But I'm still going to post it because I know you guys all love when I get all kinds of drama crazy on you. Okay, I'm gonna go listen to Lady Gaga's album though because that'll just make everything better. Um, bye. Bye!